Jesus. So today is Sunday and we're starting off at church and it's really funny because Dan Bauman is actually here and I was just with him like last week in Kona so it's so weird how people meet each other like all over the world. What's a good one? As I fell off the cliff, there was stone all the way down to a bush right before the water and that's where I landed. I did not care what my circumstances looked like. I wanted my heart to be run by the truth of who he was. That he really, really, really was good. That the goodness of God was greater than I'd experienced. And that was church. But now we're on our way walking to Griffith Observatory. And there it is. But real quick, I want to talk about something I realized with Dan in church. And that is that I actually remember meeting him in 2013, way up in a little village, not village, but like small city in Northern Thailand. We're down at the observatory. And we're at in and out just finished getting in now, and now we're on our way actually go shopping again. And as I was listening to Dan up in the little village, I realized like, missions life sounds like fun. And also began to understand that there's also like a certain like risk and adventure that comes along with it. Because at that time he was talking about how he was in prison in, I don't remember if it was Iran or Iraq, but he was in prison. So I was so fascinated that this man Dan was actually willing to give it all up for like a purpose and a cause. If I lost your sign, I don't know where, oh I found him. And he just simply continued to tell about the story of how he got out of prison, what happened in prison, all this type of stuff. And I remember I was just like captivated, like this guy is so cool. Boy, you got food. Josie and Adeline are currently kicking, cooking the last dinner before I leave tomorrow morning. And my job is to find a movie. As I'm just sitting here, and Josiah, has so many cool photos that he's like never posted. And they're awesome. So the point I'm trying to get to with Dan is that you don't know what you tell people or who you are today and how that can actually impact people in their future and actually spark something in, spark something in them in that moment that they don't realize will actually impact them later in their lives.